False promises. The next danger of the tongue is making false promises. The one who makes a false promise has the intention to break it, which is a sin, as it is a branch of hypocrisy, according to narration found in Sahih Bukhari, number 2749. A narration found in Sahih Muslim, number 213, adds that the person who behaves in such a manner has adopted an aspect of hypocrisy, even if they pray, fast, and claim to be a Muslim. The Holy Quran has made it clear all promises must be made with the intention to fulfill them. Chapter 5 al maidah verse 1 O you who have believed, fulfill all contracts. There is no sin on the one who fully intends to fulfill their promise, but is prevented from it for some valid reason. Muslims should strive not to adopt this aspect of hypocrisy, otherwise they may well be judged like one on Judgment Day. A Muslim should never act in a way which displeases Allah, the Exalted, even if it contradicts their desires or oaths. Unfortunately, some Muslims are extremely stubborn when it comes to keeping their word, even if it leads to the disobedience of Allah, the Exalted. For example, they may break ties with others over petty reasons and refuse to change because of a silly oath they have made. This only leads to enmity and fractured relationships. A narration found in Sunan an nasai number 3876, warns Muslims not to fulfill their oaths in ways which displease Allah, the Exalted, as this oath is only for the devil. A Muslim should never be steadfast on the disobedience of Allah, the Exalted, as this is only stubbornness and has no part in Islam. A Muslim should instead be steadfast in the obedience of Allah, the Exalted, by fulfilling his commands, refraining from his prohibitions, and by facing destiny with patience according to the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. This is true steadfastness and leads to the mercy of Allah, the Exalted. The following verse excuses those who do not intend to make oaths in their speech. In addition, this verse reminds Muslims of the foundation of Islam, namely, one's intention. This is what every action is judged on, and it will lead one to hell or paradise on Judgment Day. Chapter 2 Al-Baqarah, verse 225 Allah does not impose blame upon you for what is unintentional in your oaths, but He imposes blame upon you for what your hearts have earned. But nonetheless, a Muslim should not get into this habit, as it is disliked in Islam, as it leads to trouble in both worlds. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com.